Did anybody try to like hold you up or like, you know, try to get you to rethink your decision making? Um, Question your decision making. Come on now, because listen, let me, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. It's because, listen, when you, <clears throat> when you make that type of leap of faith, right? Nobody's, nobody's gonna see what you see. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to, Correct. you know what I'm saying? And they will project their fears onto you. Mm -hmm. That's what people are supposed that to do. That is true, that is true. You know true. what I'm saying? So like, and I, I know what it feels like to yeah. take a leap of faith and believe in something and see a it's vision. It's scary too though. Absolutely. You know, um. But everybody, everybody don't, people will try to, True. they will try to so, show you hold, hold you up. Um, not necessarily. Everybody knew that I was a hard worker. Okay. You know, I've always had two or three jobs, so they knew I could do it. Yeah, you they know? knew you could hustle. The biggest critic is yourself. 100%. It, it was really myself because guess what? You will tear yourself. I torn myself down. I'm like, bitch, you can't do it. You know, <laughs> like, and you, you're, you're, you're gonna fail. You know, all those things they happen, and you're even though I knew I wasn't gonna work for another person, those things still happen. It's just like you're in an airplane, you could be with the best, best pilot. There's possibilities of you going down. You know, it's just that one percent chance that gets you the best of you. So I can really say I was my biggest critic, but the fact that I critique myself so much, whatever anybody else says, is like, oh, it's just like a little tap. Me, I'm punching myself, like, you know, like going full throttle at myself, but not really. You know, I've always had like a great, but there's not many people around me either mm -hmm. to, for me to tell me, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, and honestly, I'm like, and this sound, it may sound bad, but everybody around me, I was always doing better than that. <laughs> You know, it was hard to find like-minded individuals, and it still is, unless a girl's being snobby. You know, like the girls are, the girls, they like to cry, they like to, they like to tussle. You know, so it's really hard, um, just being connected with, you know, boss girls. Especially, I'm the one that's slowly coming up. There's girls that are out there that are doing amazing, but they don't want to even help me out. You know, and they don't want to, you know, have um, business meetings or anything, even if we're doing something different. So it was really hard trying to get in tune with other boss girls like myself until I was the boss girl and had no interest in even talking to them anymore because mm -hmm. I asked them. Man, you <clears throat> listen, I, I uh, if, if anybody's listening to the people who are listening to this, it's a lot of value in like, um, knowing who you are early, you know what I'm saying? Because yes. you having a, a certain level of confidence instilled in you and like um, reinforcing that and like manifesting that is, it sounds like that's the stuff that's helped you push forward, you know, to today. Cause I mean, you've been told me like, listen, I, it was to a point where I was selling juices and selling smoothies out my car, living out my car, trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. And you still seen, seen the vision and still didn't have the thought of going back to no job. You still okay. seen, seen, seen your vision